Hello there pot pickers and welcome back to Angle Park TV. Uh, in this video we're going to demonstrate how to play Stuart's uh, guitar riffs and lead lines from the song Restless Natives. Uh, and this is taken from the Town and Country Club version in 1990. So you'll remember in the previous video we uh, demonstrated how to play the original soundtrack Ebo intro for the song. But we also uh, covered Bruce's live intro from the Town and Country Club which had the... Uh <laughs> Okay, so we've now moved on, progressed on from that, we're now on the Stuart's uh, lead lines and riffs. So he bounds on stage with his Levinson blade Stratocaster and he kicks into this lead line. And I'm playing this quite slowly for you, just so you can keep up with it. Let's play that again. Okay, so now that we've got that bit out of the way, we move on to the next lead bit of the the next lead part of the intro. Uh, starting on your second string at the tenth fret, uh, and then the thirteenth fret on the second string, and then your first string at the tenth fret and then up to the 13th fret again. So we've got... Now, there's a couple of hammer-ons in there, and they are key to this. You've got to get those hammer-ons in there. Okay, one more time. And then back up the fretboard to starting on the 15th fret, on your second string and uh, 18th fret and then first string 15th fret and 17th fret finishing on that 15th fret at the uh, second string at the 15th fret and then repeat the, pro the process again and then back up one more time only this time we're playing something with quite a few hammer-ons in it Okay, so let's play that again slowly with the hammer-ons. Right, so your first finger is kept on the root note, first string, 15th fret. You need to keep that on there for to be able to do these hammer-ons with your third, with your second and third fingers. Between the 17th fret on the first string and the 18th fret on the second string. And finish off with the 15th fret on the second string. Okay, so if we piece that whole thing together, we've got. Okay, so now that we've got all that bit covered, that's that lead improvised, if you like, uh, lead intro out of the way. So he then starts the song with a couple of uh, vocal lines, and then after that, we're into the classic riff. So starting on your third string, which is your D string, or sorry, your G string, not those wrong, your G string, fifth fret, third finger, seventh fret, also on the G string. So the very first part of that, that sequence will start with this sort of out of out of sync uh, drone note. And once you bring the second part of it in, it, it all fits together. And then after that, you will play this high pitched chord. First finger on the first string at the fifth fret. Second finger on the second string at the sixth. Third finger on the third string at the seventh fret. So this is all based in around the fifth and seventh frets. Now, you, if you wish, you can play just three strings, like that, or if you wish, you can bring in the, the open D string, which will give you the slight drone as well, along with that. I prefer to do it with the, the D string involved in it, the open D string, because it gives it, I just find that it gives it a wee bit more, you know, 
So if you piece all those together, we have. And then after that, we have. So. So first finger is still fingering the third string, the fifth fret. It's all to do with your third finger here. Uh, on, the, on the seventh fret, between the, th the third string and your fourth string. So you end up with this kind of inverted power chord kind of thing, almost like some people would see it as being like a reverse of a power chord. So if you take a power chord as, like that, well this would be the same only played the opposite way. It's like it's almost as if it's switched around. Okay, so we've got... Then move your first finger to cover both the third and fourth strings. So you've got that. And then your third finger again on the seventh fret on the, the uh, fourth string. And then you finish it off with par chords, three par chords of A flat, C, and D. Strike the D twice. So piece it all together and we have Okay, so now we've got that whole intro out of the way. That's the classic intro. We're now into the uh, the lead solo, if you like, uh, which he plays throughout the song maybe three, four times. And again, it's based around that intro that we played at the start of this section. Right? So we've got now when you're playing this. Try and play it as if you're strumming each individual note, or like a staccato on each note. You know, like that, rather than... You know, it just doesn't really work when you play it. It's almost as if it's too neat and tidy. So you've got to play it that way, so it's a wee bit... Okay, so we've got... And slide up to the nineteenth, uh, nineteenth so fret. Sorry, twentieth fret. My mistake. Twentieth fret on both the uh, second and first strings. So we've got. Okay, so let's do that whole section again. So we've got... Okay, so now that that's out of the way, uh, we're now on to the main body of the song, if you like, the, the rhythm, Stuart's rhythm chords, uh, which are all based around par chords of D, and that's an open par chord, so you get your first finger on the third string at the second fret, and you're plucking the open D string as well, your, your fourth string, so if you hit the two together, you get that. So, if you play this, you've got D, F, C, A flat, D. Okay, so let's do that again. D, F, C, A flat, D. And at the end of that section again, he will give it the three par chords of A flat, C, D. So we'll piece that together. We've got. When you listen to that, it might sound like you're almost playing it out of sync or out of time. It's more to do with the vocal arrangement than it and the melody arrangement, so that it's keeping up with the vocal melody. So you'll have. Have to 
excuse my vocals there at this point. Okay, so after that, you're back up into that uh, lead guitar break. So, and then we'll drop back down. So for your next verse, you're again back into the D, F, C, A flat, D, and then repeat it again, D, F, this time on the C, it's almost as if you're holding the C just for a split second or two longer. And drop down to your A flat. And then drop down again onto the low F power chord. And then up again to your A flat. will bring you into the to the if you like the bridge chorus kind of thing of I will be with them you know so but so we piece the whole thing together we've got alone up on the hills in snow through the summer sun and winter snow the eagle he was the lord above the land rock was a long tree okay and then drop back down for your, for your second verse. Too long and very full he is me left Without hope and without pride So who will know where they come from Who raised the torch for those who die And then F sharp, or A flat I, I, I will be with them Okay, so let's do that segment again. So, I will be with them in the summer sun, in the winter snow. They will come and clouds will go and show that we are proud again. And then I finish on a D, right? And when we're playing alive, yeah, I just strike that single D chord. So the second guitar behind that, Bruce's guitar, will be back in with the... Okay, which will then lead you back into the classic riff of the... And so on, and then I'll bring you back down into the... The next section of the song, which is the verse again, the third verse. Um, okay, so that's your third verse again. So remember, sort of palm mute it and chug it slightly if you wish. Back up to your A flat again. Drop back down and again to that D, and he just and that will just let that D ring. And he'll sing over the top of that a bit, and then he'll bring it back in with the. And 
so that bit at the end is something that was obviously just an improvised thing they did on on the song and it's not on the record and um, not on the studio version but just for, for the live version and it's just a kind of an improvised ending to it if you like so that's all of Stuart's parts out of the way now we're going to go back into Bruce's parts now so Bruce's uh, melody lines and rhythm uh, chords for this so during the verse structure as we discussed there and downstairs Stuart playing <laughs> So while that's going on, and while Stuart's singing, you've got Bruce is doing this melody line of... Now as you can hear, I've got a bit of slight overdrive on, nothing too much, it's just vintage overdrive, so it's not heavy at all. Uh, with a bit of delay on it, just as in, as per in the, the first video with the live intro. Right, so we have... Okay, so that's so if you imagine I'll do it without I'll do it without the uh, the delay on it. I'll just play it clean so you can you can sort of work out the notes then better. So you've got Okay, so we did that with a, with a bit of slight overdrive, a bit of delay, so we've got... Okay, so that's Bruce's melody, the first part of Bruce's melody line out of the way. The chords that he then plays behind... Uh, when Stuart is doing the lead guitar of behind that Bruce is playing these these high chords these high uh, power chords now if you've been watching some of the YouTube videos of the uh, Restless Natives being played live uh, with Jamie Watson on board I think Jamie tends to play the uh, more traditional kind of power chords if you like you know the standard you know the Which is fine, and that's probably for ease of the song. As far as I'm aware, Bruce probably played, and from what I've seen on the, from watching the the Town and Country Club version, Bruce is playing these kind of high pitched par chords. So you've got your first finger covering the first four strings, bring your pinky into play, covering both first and second strings, and you've got this. So if you imagine behind Stewart's lead line you've got starting up here at the seventh fret so your first finger barring the four strings in the seventh fret your pinky finger then barring the first and second strings at the tenth and play this sequence okay so let's do that again so it's So let's put, put that together and play it at the proper pace. Okay. And then I say we've got the melody line. Now, we're going to play the melody line, this time with a slight change in it. 
So coming on to the uh, to the the version of the song, uh, I will be with them. The the chorus, if you like, I will be with them. Behind that, you have Bruce going. And then he'll progress. And then once it starts, I will be with them. You've got. Okay, so let's do that again. And then he'll finish that section off with a on the 10th fret covering both the 2nd and 3rd strings and then quickly bring in his pinky uh, at the 13th fret on the 2nd string right. so we'll piece that all together we've got And that's pretty much all of Bridges melody, parts, melody lines and rhythm chords done. The only other bit that he will play, well it's the exact same thing, but if you listen to the, the album, uh, sorry, the soundtrack and studio version, uh, he'll play that with a, when it gets to the middle of the song I think, he'll play it with more, a bit more power and a bit more oomph uh, and almost as if there's a slight bit more overdrive on it and it will incorporate the drone note then, so it'll be... You know, so he's playing the exact same thing when he's starting that, just that one section in the middle that with that drone note with a slight bit more overdrive. So. And then that'll bring him back into his chords. Uh, behind Stuart's lead line, so he's going and then slowly to finish it off and there you have it, Restless Natives thanks for watching Bye.